Hello folks, Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. We're out here on a beautiful Memorial Day in the garden and wanted to show you guys what we've been doing lately with our teepees and our pole beans. Uh, we're lucky enough that we were able to plant some bamboo and we have a whole big grove of it. We've uh, done articles about it and talked about some of the benefits and of course the hazards of having bamboo that just spreads and spreads. Um, ours tends to spread a bit, but we're maintaining basic control of it. And the benefit, of course, is you get all these really cool, sturdy poles. Just all you need to do is get some loppers or some heavy clippers, clip them out, trim the sides, and you're ready to go with some really solid, these things are amazingly strong. You're growing your own supports. We're, we're growing our own supports. We're self-supporting, you might say. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do, I've, I've used this old uh, bourbon barrel that you can get at about any nursery or big box store. They're like half, half barrels, really. And this one is pretty old. This is probably about a nine, ten-year-old barrel. When we moved it, it had other things in it when we moved it the bottom was rotted out so i actually went and fabricated a new bottom out of plywood that was pretty involved and took a little bit of you know angling and shaving and pounding and all that but now it has a new bottom and uh, it's holding dirt really well the dirt mix is this stuff right here it's uh called just natural and it's organic it's raised bed and we mentioned a while back a couple days ago about having uh, worm castings and this has worm castings incorporated into it which is a great thing mm -hmm. worm castings do marvelous wonders for your soil so um, we're here and what we're planting here and have already planted are um, gold Marie vining pole beans and you can see some of these little guys are, are already popping up. There's one over there. And this was about uh, four days ago. And they, what, I, what I did was I put, um, made a little hole. And then I put this uh, black gold seedling starting mix in the hole and then s in, inserted the little beans in there and they just love that kind of thing apparently the black gold has certain nutrients and is very uh, water retentive so it doesn't dry out quickly has a lot of ground perlite in it and that's what we did so um, the the thought here is we have something for the vining plant to grow into and yeah, it's going to get tall. I'm going to need, if, if it gets up into here, because the, the barrel's already, what, over two feet tall, I'm going to have to get a little ladder to get up here, but that's fine. It's going to be a joy just to come out and at eye level and right here to be able to pick, pick the beans. Uh, let's see. We've got... <laughs> we have... Um, string here and what this does is this allows it's twine right yeah it's jute it, twine jute yeah jute twine and it's the three ply it's biodegradable we've already uh, sung the praises of this material but it really is a great thing to have in your garden I, I wouldn't be without it and we're gonna make a kind of a trellis with this and this is simple kind of overhand knot I'm gonna overhand it again starting here You'll notice on these um, bamboo, you have these little sections here. And joints. What, yeah, what, what's great about these joints is that, you see the string, I'm tightening it up. It's not going to slip any further than this joint. And, and the same with going up and down. But what we're going to do here is we don't want to, I still have it in the package somewhat. And we're just going to go around, put it at a joint. Put it, sorry about that. Okay. Put it at a joint here. Now I could just cut a length of um, of twine. So yeah. you're just um, 
in it, weaving it in and out. Yeah, I'm just weaving it in and out. And, and then wrap it, wrap it, wrapping and, around once on and, each joint. Yeah, and at a certain point, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because if it ever got loose at one point, it, the whole thing would loosen. So, and this is all your own discretion. However you want you build this thing is fine. Um, but I'm just gonna come around, wrap it twice and tie it off here. And then we'll proceed. Oh, we have animals in the garden. Here they come. <laughs> Zeus, have you been weeding? Good. <laughs> That's great. I see uh, Caspia over there did some fertilizing, so <laughs> we're, we're doing just great. So you do this like this all the way around. And I'm, rather than show you guys, you know, just sit around and watch me spin this twine around, we'll walk over here and I'll show you. Okay, but what before it looks we like. go, um, mm -hmm. and so you're gonna do you do one at each joint. Is that what you do? Well, you can, and you can make it as 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 loose or as tight as you want. Ordinarily, I like to space it um, about eight to ten inches apart. Okay, Vert okay. vertically, eight to ten inches. Yeah, vertically, okay. and that gives us a. And you'll see when I we walk over to the other. Okay. You'll see, and um, I'll go ahead and cut this. We'll be ready when we get back. Okay, and before you go, mm -hmm. let me just j quickly mention your um, hydrate, your, um, sorry, your watering <laughs> system. My mind was blank all of a sudden. Yes, we are hydrating. Hydrating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Indeed. And uh, your irrigation, that's the term I was looking for, your irrigation system. That yeah. You have created these little, um, what do you call them, the little tails? Well, these are little sprayers. They're little. They're, they're spikes, and you can adjust. They're, they're really kind of cool. You tap into your your supply line like here and the the end of this supply line is a, a little um, emitter itself and you hook onto that and let's see if I got one in my pocket I usually carry them around they look like this okay this is the end that goes in the hose because it's pointy and then water comes out here you hook this quarter inch tube to it and it has you can get all kinds of little connectors like T's and elbows and just regular straight connectors and what I've done is I've just or ordered these so that they'll get a nice even spray now at the top here adjusts so if you want it really to you know come out you just twist it to the left and it will flow and even have a little fountain effect I like to keep them kind of on a drip and that's just more of an art than a science, really. Okay, and okay. this is, a, okay. I'll do a quick wrap here. And I'm just doing this to tie this thing off. And see how quickly it can be done yeah. as well. Yeah. And um, I mean, you can get artistic and creative with these things, right? Okay, now let me show you what the end effect is. Over here, guys, I'm gonna run you out. He's weeding. Um, <laughs> seriously, right he's, he's eating yeah, grass. Yeah, eating you grass, wanna, good. Wanna scoot, scoot. Good job. <laughs> That's why we have a fence garden. Yes, yeah, there's um, a gate here to keep them out when we don't want them. Just to show you, th this is a, a variety, it's sort of like a semi bush. It's not a real climber, but it does grow tall, and it's called purple teepee, and it's a beautiful purple snap bean that um, is ideal for growing just like this in a teepee. And I've done similar things. All I'm doing is using the string to corral the leaves here. You see they already have blooms, and probably in a couple of weeks we'll be eating some beans. Oh boy. And you just you just pick a leaf set, a stem, and bring it on into the, ah, oh, get that guy. <laughs> what, what is it? This is one, that, this is a, a bug that's not very friendly. Oh. I, I just had to undo him, but um, this is the kind of bug that gets onto your, your beans and okay. wreaks havoc. You can eat the yes. leaves too. The beans, leaves. Here's a, you just bring the plant in, into the fold, so to speak and in within this area, very easy to do. And it's just gonna climb on up here. The construction, again, you can see we used more bamboo. Um, this is a pre-stout piece here. 
and this is just going to move on up the row. This is the purple teepee. And um, in the back, we have more of a bush bean, which I believe is called the black turtle, black, sorry, black cocoa. The shorter ones? Yeah, these shorter guys. They were planted later, so I, I expect to stage our harvest as we go along. Um, that is. Are they, and these aren't yet winding, will they? Is this just no, a that, because they're not, they're a bush bean. Okay, one so of it's the not, characteristics. It's not a vine. But they do need containment. Right, okay. Because <laughs> so, they'd, they'd be out, you know, on everything, everywhere. Okay. Uh, one of our favorite beans, by the way. So they like to sprawl. They yes. like to just sprawl out and, you know, little bites here. grab the remote, sit on the sofa, enjoy <laughs> life, all that good stuff. All right, so, and I'm just bringing more of it in, into the into the little area where it's confined a bit. Uh, that's all I had. We, okay. We'd be interested in hearing from you all how you're doing with your bean crops and what you're doing with them. Let us know. Can you um, tell us about your bandana, your head, oh, headgear? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, we have some really pesky, I don't know whether they're mosquitoes or what, but they want to sort of get into my ears. So what I've done is I've um, acquired this bandana to cover basically my ears. It's not that I have a hearing issue or whatever, <laughs> although my wife may disagree. <laughs> but this is um, this is really preventive and it has helped. I, I even put a little bit of mosquito repellent on it and um, they've, they've stayed away. So it's just a little artful device to help, yeah, help. help things along. All right, thanks. Well, thank you, Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Bye. Bye.